play there at the end, Jeffrey. It looked like you really managed to kind of cave in part of that that line. What what happened on that on that play? I mean, we you know we know what they kind of do, especially on the. Um, in that type of situation, even if they outside, I mean, outside of the goal, I mean, red zone or right there on the goal line, we know if the quarterback come on um, center like that, we anticipate um, sneak, and that was play I thought they was gonna run, and they did. So, I mean, I just I was inside of the tackle, you know, got my hands on the tackle, quarterback right there, he tried to get low, just put my um, big arms around, he couldn't move, so his, he was short. So it was a great play from everybody, you know, everybody was in their gaps. Get a little bit of uh, uh, extra. You were short and it was game over. No, I knew it was short because um, I, like I said, that was my gap. Um, you know, I knew I was probably a, um, like a yard in the backfield or whatever it may be. Um, so I knew it was short. What was the talk like in the huddle before that play, knowing that they're going for it on fourth and a half a yard? You know, our defense don't flinch. You know, we, um, as Braves say all the time, all week, it was you know Jacksonville fifty-seven. Same thing we, we dealt we dealt with last week. You know, think about that when you know they get a big play. They got a big play, they got down there, fourth and short. Now it's time to play ball. Now it's time, you know, defend every inch of grass. And that's what our defense is about. You know, um, greedy people, greedy guys on defense that hungry, you know, no matter if they inches like they was. And uh, we're going to come up big and get a big stop. So that's our standards. Do you get, I mean, that's late in the game. You guys have been out there all day. Do you get like that little extra surge of adrenaline, though, on a, on a huge play uh, like that? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, even if we have time, even if it was time left, I think that would have been momentum for our team, not just for the defense, but the whole team coming up with a big stop, even like giving the offense the ball, even if it was more time. But, you know, things like that change the game, you know, big stops, you know, interception, turnovers on defense. But the thing is, we have to be consistent. We have to keep that going. We have to make negative plays to help our offense out, put them in better situations. You guys surprised at all that they didn't just kick the field goal play for overtime? Uh, we knew they were trying to win the game, um, especially with the quarterback they have. You know, um, Josh Allen's a good quarterback. You know, um, that's the same with us. You know, I'm sure we was in that situation. We put the ball in our best player hand. Josh Allen, I think they best player, and they put it in his hand. You know, so it happened to our defense a little better. Um, we came up big. What was it like? Yeah, the yeah, the, the said, emotional uh, ups and downs of the game. What was it like? And then how, what was your feel like when you knew it was game over? Yeah, that's the thing about this game of football. You know, we all get paid. We all get paid to do our job. And, you know, they got a lot of guys with a lot of talent on that team. And, you know, the thing is, you know, when they make a big play, we have to get back and play to, um, like I said, defend every inch of grass. And um, I think that's – that's got, that's got to be the standard of our defense, you know. Um, it's going to be the game going to be up and down. We don't want it that way. That's just the nature of the game. But you know, we just got to um, you know play the next play. You're one of the emotional leaders on this team. Uh, explain to me why is it that you have a game like the Jets game, and then this game? What's behind that? What's the science to that? I mean, I don't. I, mean, I, I don't even. I'm be honest. I mean, I forgot about the Jets. But games like this, we focus on. We always focus on what's next. Um, you know, we can't think about what happened against the Jets last week. We can't think about what happened against the Jaguars. Like I said, all standards is to play the next play. You know, today we had the Bills. We 4-2. So, I mean, what more can we ask for? How much does a game like this just kind of like spring you forward? You got a tough stretch of games here in the next four months. I mean, it just helps us build momentum. I'm not, um, you know, especially for our team, you know, going into, especially having a big game like this. You know, of course, I think we'll see them again. But just having that momentum going into, um, you know, each and every week, going into the, um, the Chiefs, you know, I think that's just the mindset of, of our team. We have a great team. We just have to, you know, do the little things to, you know, take away from the big players or whatever it may be. I like coach I always say, man, it's the small things that, you know, stopping us from just being great. And once we fix that, you know, how, it's on, don't, I don't know how far we'll go. So, I mean, that's just to go on um, the small things. Last year with the ball, I guess did Mike was just that in the locker room and maybe what he what he say and how much it means to get it. Well, no, um, actually, just the I guess just the play that um, that was the last play of the game uh, from um, you know when I got to stop KB. Actually, I don't know how he get the ball, but um, KB actually gave me the ball. You know, he was like, "Who made the tackle?" I was like, "Who you think?" So, but um, no, nah, he. He knew I made the um, uh, stop, but he just didn't think I finished it. But uh, when I told him, he gave me the ball. He said, you know, just a, especially a guy like KB. I respect KB. He's been in his league for a while now. And, you know, the um, leadership he have on the defense to get this ball from him personally just means a lot. Like I said, my goal um, and my job is to, you know, hold the line of scrimmage. You know, of course, we've got to fix a lot of stuff. But, you know, it's all that matter. We're 4-2 now, so. You got to sleep with it tonight? Um, my, 
<laughs> I might for sure, but like I said, I'm just excited. Um, we got a great win at home, you know, a division win. Like I said, we probably see them guys again. So, um, you know, now, you know, enjoy this win tonight, tomorrow, back to um, work on Kansas City Wednesday.